Jeff Jacobson from the Humboldt State University Vertebrate Museum and we've got a 70 foot blue whale that came up on this beach a week ago Monday. Yeah, the story on this gal was that there was a, uh, a survey vessel that was doing a really fine detail survey of the bathymetry offshore here, only a mile offshore, and the blue whale collided with the propeller, almost stalling one of the engines. And who knows how that happened exactly, but the next thing the crew knew was that there was a, a bleeding, dying blue whale next to him, and we're trying to salvage all of the animal off the beach for an eventual display of its bones in town here in Fort Bragg and collect valuable specimens, tissue specimens, to understand the life history of this female. Uh, perhaps see, count how many babies she's had in her life and maybe there's a fetus in there. We have no idea until we get in there. And it's going to be a mammoth task. It's a 70 tons of meat here to move, so it'll be challenging. Right now, what I am looking for is the anominance, which is what would have been the whale's hip bones. So they're going to be kind of small, and I don't want to cut through them. I want to find them in position for us to take pictures, and then I want to cut them out whole. They are going to chunk this up in large pieces, and the guys on the heavy equipment are going to help us move this section by section up the hill and then they'll take this to the spot where they're burying the carcass and they'll strip more of the meat and the blubber off and get it closer to bone and then they'll bury it and the microorganisms and all the dirt and stuff will clean the bones and then once the bones are clean they'll be able to dig it up and put the whole skeleton together for display. So it's, it's been an incredible cooperative and enthusiastic event with everybody in the town and coming from miles and miles away to work on this thing. Land away on the beach, look out what happens. Yeah.